Welcome back to the Off Scouring. Ladies and gentlemen, it's good to have you guys back. Thank you for tuning in. Today, guys, what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be reading a couple things out of the Bible. And basically, I'm just going to go over some stuff with you guys. So what I'm going to start with is the book of John, which is in the New Testament, which starts with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which is the Gospels of the Bible. What does gospel mean? Gospel means good news. Jesus coming was good news. John chapter 8 verse 40. But now you seek to kill me. This is Jesus. Jesus said, you seek to kill me. A man that has told you the truth. I brought the truth to you i delivered it to you and placed it in your hands and said this is the truth and you want to kill me can you imagine how jesus felt he's giving everybody the truth he's giving them everlasting life he's giving them salvation he's telling them don't believe all this other stuff you're hearing i'm here when jesus was there i'm here in the flesh, I'm healing people. I'm prophesying. I'm bringing people back from the dead. And you still don't believe me. There was people that didn't even believe Jesus and they saw him. But I've told you the truth, which I have heard of God. God, Jesus was God in the flesh, right? God gave now that could be a whole nother that could be a whole nother Bible study that could be a whole nother which we will go over that but not to get too far into it I just want to go over a couple things Jesus said unto them if God was your father you would love me and I proceeded forth and came from God I did not come of myself but he who sent me why do you not understand? Jesus said, why don't you understand? What don't you understand? What are you not getting? I am here. You, If you don't believe my words, believe the works I did. And they still didn't believe. You, this is Jesus saying, you are of your father the devil you're of the devil and the lust of your father the devil will you do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth the truth was not in him because there is no truth in him when he speaks a lie he speaks of his own for he is a liar and the father of it and because i tell you the truth you don't believe me. He that is of God hears God's words. When you therefore do not hear them, oh, you therefore do not hear them because you are not of God. Some people will die not believing. That's a fact. Not everybody is going to be saved. It says in the Bible, many are called, but only a few are chosen. Many are called but only a few are chosen which means you could have a calling for your life but you ignore it okay so here's another scripture i want to go over if the world hates you know that it hated me before i hated you have you ever been hated for no reason whatsoever you never did nothing to nobody never been nothing but polite to anybody and people hate you they don't even know why they hate you i had a dude who could not stand me he hated me and this is when i was locked up all right this dude hated me for no reason didn't know me nothing about me he hated me and he told me i can't read you he said i can't read you he, he just hated me I know why he hated me because of God that's in me and the evil that was in him the evil inside of him 
hated the good inside of me. People are going to hate you without a cause. They hated Jesus. They're going to hate you. If you come in the name of Jesus, they will hate you for no reason. They won't even know why. You know why. They won't know why. It's crazy. If you were of the world, if you was of the world, the world would love its own. If you was of the world, they would accept you into the world. Keep dropping my pen. They would accept you as their own. He's one of us. We got him. You ain't of the world, though. You may be Christians. Men of God, women of God, we are not of the world. We're in the world. So, if you were, the, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Chosen. God, I've chosen you to not be like everybody else. To not do what everybody else is doing. No matter the gain you may receive, it's people that sell their souls all the time for riches, for fame. But I've chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hates you because you have something they don't. You got the truth. You, God is like, you got me. You got everlasting life and you're not going to go to hell. Hell, a real place, which people joke about. People think it's funny. People don't truly understand what hell is. You're not going to go to hell and just get beat up and you're not going to get burned a little bit. You're going to be tortured. I've seen people say, I like pain. Do you like pain? If I took this pen and jabbed it in your nutsack, just being honest, you're not going to like it. You're not going to like going to hell. I'm just being real. You can say, I don't care if I go to hell. Reality, you don't know what hell is. You can't just make something up in your mind like, okay, this is what I think hell is. I'll be cool. No, hell is not whatever you make it to be. It is an actual place. If you go into the supermarket, that's what it is. You can try to change things around in your mind and pretend that there's clothes in this section and in this aisle, but it's not. It's a grocery store. You can't pretend hell is something it's not. It is hell. You will be tortured forever. How can I be tortured if my body is dead? Because you got a spirit inside of you. Have you ever had a nightmare? Have you ever woke up like, oh, that was real? Remember the word that I said unto you, unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they persecuted me, they're going to persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things, what they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent. I'm just giving you guys a little bit of food for thought. This is one of my favorite scriptures. John chapter 8, verse 1. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning, he came into the temple. And all the people came in unto him. And he sat down and he taught them. The scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman caught in adultery. And when they set her in the midst, they said unto him, Master, this is the woman who was taken in adultery in the very was. This woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what do you think? This they said, tempting him, tempting the Lord, that they may have something to accuse him for. But Jesus stooped down and with his one finger wrote on the ground as he wasn't listening to them. As though he didn't hear them. So they came to Jesus. They said, yo, we caught this woman in adultery. And Moses commanded us that she should be stoned. But what do you think? And Jesus is writing in the ground with his finger. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up. He said unto them, 
whichever one of you is without sin, let it be him who cast the first stone. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Now, what I want to know is what was he writing? That's what can, that it doesn't say in the Bible, but that's what I wonder. I wonder what he was writing. Maybe he was just drawing a smiley face, having fun, and he was just, you know what I mean? Like, I've got pictures stuff like that. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And when Jesus would let, stop right there. So, when Jesus said that, whichever one of you, whichever one of you, whichever one of y'all don't sin, you can cast the first stone. Why? Because we're all sinners. We're all guilty. When Jesus had lifted himself up and saw nobody else but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are where are your accusers? Where are they? Where'd they go? Has no one condemned you? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I. Go and sin no more. That's powerful. Neither do I. I don't condemn you. Just stop doing what you're doing. There's no good that comes from it. There's no good that comes from a woman who shares her body with countless men. And the same thing with men. There's no good that comes from that other than lust and fleshly pleasure. But you can get that from one woman that you can truly fall in love with. And I truly believe that there is one woman out there for every man, every man, one woman. In the Bible, it says there is pleasure in sin. There's pleasure in it, but it only lasts for a season, which means all them drugs that you do will eventually catch up to you. All them licks that you hit, all them robberies you commit, is eventually going to catch up to you. It's thrilling. It's exciting. It's exciting pulling the gun, the gun on somebody. I know, believe me, it's exciting. But all that eventually comes to an end. You get caught. You get busted. Now you're in prison. Selling drugs. Easy money. And you got the law on your back. There's going to be somebody who's going to snitch on you. All it takes is for you to deny one person a front. Nah, I'm not fronting you. Bring me money. All it takes is for that person to be sick enough and say, yeah, I'm dropping a dime on this dude. That's all it takes. One person. It's pleasure in sin, but it only lasts for a season. When you mess around and catch AIDS, when you mess around and catch a disease that you can't get rid of, them things happen. But there's also pleasure in loving one woman. There's also pleasure in bringing homeless dude down the street. Hacks. Like, yo, you got a couple bucks. Nah, I ain't got no money, man. He said, you got some food. And stuff. Like, yo, I'm on my way to this place right here. As soon as I leave, I'm going to go home. I'm going to put some stuff in the bag for you, and I'm going to bring it back to you. He looked at me like, oh, okay. What I do? I left the place, went home, put food in the bag, and I brought it to him. And he was shocked. He was like, I can't believe you really came back. I said, yeah, I told you I would. That's my word. Not going to tell you something if I can't do it for you. That's pleasure to me. It's a pleasure to me to help other people, to see another man who's suffering and I can help you, I'm going to help you. People have lots of questions about God. They have a lot of questions about God. Now, this is what I will say. I encourage you guys to ask questions. I encourage you guys to share this video. Make sure you guys share this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Bring in the views bringing the non-believers, bringing the believers, and let's have church. So I welcome everybody, non-believers, 
believers. Whether you don't believe in God, doesn't matter what religion you believe in, doesn't matter if you don't believe at all, doesn't matter if you're an atheist, come to the channel, subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, share the video, invite people to the channel, and I'm going to break things down for you guys to the best of my ability, and I will explain to you guys to the best of my ability. Any questions you have, I will try my very hardest to answer. I'm not the smartest man alive. I'm just not. Not the smartest dude. Not the most intelligent. I can't really just blow your mind. Like some people can. But what I can do is give you the truth. Because I have it. How do I know it's true? How do you know God is true? How do you know God is real? Why should we believe you? How can you prove God? This is what I will tell you. When I was going through things in my life, I've made a lot of phone calls to a lot of people. I need help. 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 But when I made that phone call to Jesus Christ, that's when I noticed the difference in my life. That's when I seen God intervene. God showed me who he was and what he can do. So yes, I have proof that God is real. He revealed himself to me. And he told me to tell you. And that's what I'm doing. A lot of people can tell a lot of people say yo how do you know god ain't real this and that no 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 the the bible was written by a man uh the government the universe is god whatever a lot of people can say stuff like that okay but if i'm wrong what makes you right you're so sure about what you're saying and you're so sure i'm wrong how what makes you right that the universe is God. Where's your proof? Where did God come from? Where did them two rocks that collided come from? Isn't it easier to believe in an infinite being that created? There's nothing that was created without a creator. Isn't it easier to believe that infinite God, omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent, created everything than two rocks? flying in the in the sky universe banged into each other and created everything does that make sense how does that make sense you can answer there's something else i want to share with you guys real quick before we go in the book of first john chapter 2 verse 15 do not love the world neither the things that are in the world if any man loves the world the love of the father is not in him for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world and the world passes away and the lust thereof but he that does the will of god abides forever so you have one or two options you can fade away with the world or you can abide forever with God. It's pretty simple when it comes down to it. So, I'm going to end this video for now. I do have more coming. just want to give you guys some encouragement, some uplifting for the time being. I do have further studies to work on. So thank you guys very, very much for watching. Anybody who would like to donate to this channel, the PayPal donation button will be on the home page in the about section. So if you would like to make a donation, every donation to this channel will go into this channel to make it better and to reach out to more people. I'd appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share the video with your friends and bring them to the channel. And thank you for stopping by.